One of my great loves is to stand up in front of folks and tell stories, philosophize, make you laugh. <laughs> oh, not that I was ever anything much to look at. A Wisconsin man once said to me, after attending one of my speeches, that I did not appeal to the ear or the eye. All my life, I had two trains running through my mind, like, like a tune. I'd worked mainly farm jobs with my father Tom and other farmers in Kentucky and Indiana. When Mr. James Gentry at Gentry's store asked me to help his son Alan pilot a boat down the Ohio and Mississippi rivers to New Orleans, I said yes! <laughs> right away, a, a chance to see the world, meet all manner of people, hear all kinds of stories. Frontier schooling was always once in a blue moon. Some reading, some writing, some figuring. <laughs> My father said, that's all the education you need. Well, that's about all a, all a feller got. At New Orleans, I set off on my own to see the city. Oh, people from every which of where, speaking every language in the world, it seemed to me. Wearing every type of get up in the colors of the rainbow. Spiced meat and fiddle and bands of music on every street. What a wonderful country I live in, I said to myself.